Good day everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to create Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive. And this drive can be used for different purposes like uh, you can install an operating system on any of the devices. You can use it for troubleshooting, like to fix many kind of problem like resetting the password. And even it can be used for the computer deployment, especially for the IT people. So whatever your purpose is, the process is very simple. Now you will have to come to this Microsoft website to download Windows 11. Now I won't recommend you that you should go ahead and download Windows 11 from any other third party website because that can be some custom uh, created Windows 11 and probably your privacy can be in risk. All right, so it's better to come to Windows 11 official website. Now once you come up here, you need to scroll down and you will find download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices. Now here you have to click on the drop down, choose Windows 11 multi edition ISO for x64 and then you have to click on download now. And then you have to choose the product language. So go and choose English United States and then click on confirm. Now after that you will be getting a download option, download it. I have already downloaded it. It's around 5 point something gigabyte. So it may take some time. So kindly wait until the ISO file has been downloaded. And you can see that I have just downloaded this today and this is a Windows 11 ISO. So what next you will have to do, you will have to come to a different website to make it a bootable USB drive and the software is called Rufus. So once you come up here again, you will be getting this link as well in the description. So don't worry about it. Then once you come here, you have to click on the Rufus 4.1.exe, click on it, close the advertisement and this file will be also downloaded all right so once you have downloaded the iso file and the rufus now you need to make sure that you have connected your pen drive your usb drive or the external hard drive that you want to make a windows 11 bootable drive so let me show you my drive if i go to this pc so you can see i have an external drive uh, just to show you it's around 460 gigabyte and in your drive should be at least of eight gigabyte. If you're using any kind of a small pen drive or the USB drive, so make sure that everything has been deleted, the drive is formatted, and it should contain around eight gigabyte of space. Eight gigabyte or more than that. Okay, so once you have connected your device, next what you will have to do, come to the download page and just double click on Rufus to run it. Then click on yes. Now it says do you want to allow Rufus to check the application update online so you have to click on no and this kind of page will be coming up. So now here on the top you will find the device section and here from the drop down you need to choose the drive that you want to make bootable. Sometimes it automatically detects it but if not then you have to click on the drop down and if you don't find anything then you have to click on show advanced drive properties. Check this option list USB hard drive. So probably you are trying to convert any kind of hard drive or SSD, then you have to check this option and this drive will be available now. All right, so select the right drive from here and then below you'll find the boot selection. So click on select, then choose the Windows 11 ISO image, then click on open. And in the partition scheme, you have to set to GPT. The file system will be NTFS. Rest, you don't have to do anything, then you have to click on start. Again here you don't have to do anything, click on OK and then click on Yes. And now the process will be started. So now here you just have to wait until it's been 100% or fully completed. Alright, so once it's been done in the status section, you will find the ready option and it's all been completed. So if I go and close it and again open the file explorer, so you can see now this drive letter has been changed and it says CCCOMA and that indicate that this drive has now been created as a bootable Windows 11 drive. So now you can use it for any purpose, whichever you want to. And if I open it, you will see all the Windows installation file here. And you can quickly plug in to your device or for whatever purpose you want to use. So this is the best and the easiest and the safest way to create a bootable Windows 11 drive or USB pen drive with this simple step.
So hopefully guys this video will surely help you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and if for any question let me know in the comment section and I see you in the next video bye bye